Guys, I'm Chris here. I'm back in that video. And today, I got some explaining to do and some updates. First update, the Poolin XT that has the blown freaking strat motor. That everything else is in really nice shape. We are actually, unfortunately, getting rid of this thing with its bagger. Because it does not run nice. The old spark plug is there. Let's get this back on. And I got some explaining to do on why I haven't been making videos. This is going to be a relatively long video. It's because I have explaining. But first of all, I'm just like, going to update the tractors. This is all good. And we got a few new machines in the last few days. We got some four-wheelers. And we have a clutch... Yamaha Warrior, which needs some work, but I'll show you all that later. We have a lot more four-wheelers that are under here, and update on the Craftsman Crusher. This bad boy, he runs and drives, but unfortunately, we have to get rid of him. He is no longer able to be used, because as you know with these button push ignitions, and if it's in gear, which it is, and the clutch isn't pushed in, it will drive. And, but the build system is so badly screwed up, and when I push the clutch in, it, wait, shoot, hang on. Well, it's not doing it now because I tried to fix it, but I can't. So, and you go up under here, this piece right there, for some reason, that bounces up and down. And when it's down... Hang on, let me get... When it's down like that, it doesn't want to do it. But... Oh, the battery's dead great. It died. That was it. So, sorry about that, but he's got to go. And I know I promised you guys I would do... A mud romp with Crash and Crusher. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to. Because he's so beat up and hard to drive. I might take the single Kohler engine out of it. But that's that's another day. Here is the mud mower build that I had in mind. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to be getting rid of this one too. I don't want to, but... We don't have the right parts to get this motor out. And you might be thinking, oh, with your mowing business, why don't you go off and buy them? Well, there's many things that I'm going to have to do to, like, be successful with a mud mower. So I'm just going to get one that runs first so I can build it faster for you guys. I am going to be getting Kendra Bear Claws on the back of the new one. But if, if you guys want any of these too, let me know. I'll sell them to you for a good price. The John Deere LT160 automatic is still the same. It still has that wiring harness part that I blew out trying to fix it. We are going to be fixing this soon. I will do videos on that. And the four wheelers are under here, which unfortunately I can't take the tarps off right now. But I'll show you what we got. So under here we have a Kawasaki Bayou. I think it's a 2006. I'm not sure. Under here, we got the Warrior I told you about. It's a Yamaha Clutch 6-speed. And under here is my brother's Honda. It's green. It's a 2006. Under here is my red Honda. That's a 2006. And it's thumb shift. And let me update you on the dirt bikes and the Husqvarna. Here are the two. Here's one dirt bike. There's the other. And this is new. This is my mom's. Honda, I forget what year it is, but the thing that's cool about this one is mine, my four-wheeler that I just showed you has this thumb shift, like you go up gears, down gears, but this one, let me do this, it, you can actually put it in automatic mode, so you don't have to shift, and it has four-wheel drive, and this drive and neutral and reverse, but I will be giving you guys trail riding videos with these four-wheelers. But I'm telling you something right now, guys. This, These four-wheelers are not replacing my mud mower dream for this YouTube channel. Just because I'm adding four-wheeler videos does not mean I'm getting rid of this YouTube channel. At all. 
So there's the other dirt bike. The Husqvarna. Zero turn works great. It runs, cuts grass. We've already done a few lawns. There's the Red Max Weed Whacker that is in a bad position. This is new. We got a Red Max backpack blower. It's bigger than this one, but they both work. The Echo Leaf Blower, handheld blower, is there. And there's the push mower. We haven't really used this thing that much, but we will soon. And here is my dad's lawn tractor, which is this is going to replace what the wheel horse does with its leaf vac. The wheel horse leaf vac I might do into a mud mower. Well, speaking of the wheel horse, that runs great. It runs, cuts. I'm going to be using that maybe for a mud mower, but the Gilson is still going to be my version of Fearless Friends Diesel Sears, which go subscribe to him if you're not. And subscribe to Mower Outlaw and Lapavoni Mac. So I'm actually gonna go show you guys the other lawn jackets right now. Oh my! I think my dog is under that. My dog's under that. Great. And I'll be right back. All right, I got him out. Under here is the wheel horse. It's right there. The leaf bag is attached onto it. Under here is the Gilson, which I tried to work on with the meter, but I've never worked on one of these engines before, so I'm going to need to get some help with it. And in the old shed, we have, let me show you, I need to clean up, but there's the mud tires I might put on the, the new mud mower build before I get the bear claw since they're free. I need to show you guys that. My dog's playing. But now it's time for some explaining. I want to explain to you why I haven't been making videos and a bunch of things. Why? There's a, a bunch of good things. So, first thing is that YouTube... I actually did record some pretty long videos. But YouTube, when I went to post them, I, I ended up like posting them. And you guys might have gotten the notification because I basically had to take it down before I was done uploading. YouTube said that I have copyrighted somebody else. I've copyrighted, I forget their, what their name was. Um, when I find out who it is, I'll post them down in the link so you can subscribe to him. But So the whole copyright thing has happened with YouTube. I don't know why, so I had to... Delete that, figure a new, figure out an, another way to do videos. And let me just tell you, YouTube has done this to me before. If you, wa if you watch my friend Coley Famati on his channel, guys, go subscribe to him. He needs the support. YouTube just took down one of his channels because he was apparently copywriting somebody else when he really wasn't. So I don't know what YouTube's problem is. But his channel was K-Puff's Lego Bin. That got taken down. Go subscribe to him. His name is Colby Famati. And go subscribe to his new channel. Which I'll have to post down below. Because I forget the name. But. Now it's time for more explaining. Another reason why I haven't really been making too many videos. Is because I started thinking. When I got my four-wheeler. What am I going to do with my YouTube channel? YouTube hasn't been really treating me that well. And should I delete my channel? Yes, guys, I actually thought about deleting my channel, but on the verge of deleting my channel, I went through some very bad stuff that happened with YouTube, so I was really wanting to delete my channel, but at the same time, I still wanted to make videos for you guys, and shout out to Kobe Famati again, he helped me through this entire time with YouTube, so shout out to you, bro. And after that, I was really wanting to delete my channel. Until so one night, I really did a lot of thought. And I just want to say this right now to anybody who wants to make a YouTube channel. My passion is mud mower slash four-wheelering and dirt biking on this channel. This is what my channel is going to be. And I'm going to start posting more. But I want to say, like, this is a message to anybody who wants to start a channel who's watching. If you have a passion that you want to do on your YouTube channel and YouTube or somebody else is not telling you to do it because they 
because they're saying you're going to be stupid or something like that. Do not listen to them. You have a passion. You do your passion. Whether if it's on YouTube or not, if it's a passion in general, like to be a job, do it, dude. Or anybody out there. If you want to do it, follow your dream. Follow your heart. Do whatever makes you happy. Enjoy your life. You only have one life. And I know this video really isn't like about what my channel is about, but I needed to make this. I needed to make this video to explain that I am coming back. I am going to be posting more on my channel. And a message out there for anybody who feel like feel, is feeling like they're going to be stopped by somebody or something or be made fun of because of what type of videos they will make on their YouTube channel. And I'm saying right now, don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody else tell you different. You want to do something on YouTube, you do it. You follow your heart. Be whatever you want to be. Put your mind to it. You can do it. And I just wanted to say, I am coming back. And I wanted to show you the snowblower before I went off. The snowblower runs, but we haven't been using it. And dirt bike and everything, but... Right now, I gotta go. Oh, actually, never mind. Here's a side view of the Kawasaki Bay. Yep, under the hood. There it is. I will be showing you this. It has a GoPro mount, too, so. Yeah. Like I was saying before, follow your heart. Have a nice day, guys. I'm sorry for not posting that much. I will be. And I'm sorry that I'm getting rid of all of those lawn trackers, especially Craftsman Crusher. That was my, that's what started the channel, the start of the ground, but the memory will still be on the YouTube. Have a nice day, guys. We are out.